Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Sif 4 on the Earth Challenge. And I'm continuing on with this. I'm probably going to take these, this and future episodes a little bit more slowly in terms of release schedule. Just so that I don't get too frustrated with the um, slow gameplay and between turns. And I might be doing some cut editing. So uh, just to speed up the end game a little bit in terms of what I have to record versus not oh, record. And allow me to play a little bit more quickly than I could otherwise. Although, recording does not slow me down much, but uh, I really am not certain if I could provide quality commentary for too long if I'm relying on, you know, <laughs> just talking while nothing's going on on the turn times. Anyway, we have uh, rifles, so we have military traditions, so we have cavalry, and we had that as the last video, and so we are spamming that out pretty nicely. Um, now I'm going to go for a corporation because it is an instant boost. And let's look here. Mansa Musa is going culture, closing in on rifles, but since he's going culture, it's being delayed. Uh, Ramesses doesn't even have guild, so he's definitely going second. The real question is, after killing those two, how quickly can I drop Kathy? If she still doesn't have gunpowder, or if she's still not close to her unique unit, which would ruin my day, then um, I'll take her out with cavalry. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be a bit more creative and get a little bit further into the technology tree. In which case, um, well, corporation's a requirement for assembly line, which is a requirement for tanks. So, either or, I'm going to have the answer there. <laughs> it's just going to question how long this game is going to take me. And was I trying to steal something? Oh yeah, I was. I put some dudes back in Tekata there. And I guess because I had so much espionage accrued on Mansa Musa, I figured I'd get some stealing in before basically things went south in terms of our relations because I declare on him. And yeah, 5,000 espionage is plenty for stealing tech. So we'll see what I can get. I do get the Statue of Liberty, so that's excellent. I'm not sure why I'd be building spies right now. This city's got spies looped. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll switch off. Although I think I was making some so they could use them. But I'm going to blow all my espionage now. I don't know. Well, I'll make some more just to just to be a little on the safe side. Looks like I've already queued up most of the stuff that I care about. Oh, geez. Let's not uh, micro orders anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably not going to win this game until like the 17 or 1800s at this rate. It'll still be a decent score. It's certainly not competitive with what Absolute Zero did with the Zulus or many of the other uh, finishes in this game either. But I'll keep that for future reference because I bet the game will lag a lot less if I kill everyone in the old world. Oh geez. And no, Montezuma, I cannot afford a war right now. Considering uh, how cheesy the... The friggin' Barb Uprising was. I'm surprised he's in stronger. But I guess for whatever reason, it's just not in him. Corporation. Oh, I could do Rush By. And that would get me units faster. I'd be cutting technology in an attempt to end the map faster. Although, given that I spent so long teching up, that's not necessarily a terrible idea. Alright, no tech trades. And man, Pakal is just lame. Not that Inca's much better, but actually Inca's more cities than I have. No. Compound interest is the most powerful force and I in don't the think I'll revolt to free market just yet. Oh, that's right, I had a lot of defensive units, and now I can steal. Steal. Well, not much. But. Corporation. <laughs> An ingenious device for a oh, individual geez. profit without individual responsibility. Ah, uh, it's really a a big stopping point here. I guess I could go for Kremlin before I switch over to full rush by, because that makes rush by competitive with pretty much everything in the game. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to accrue enough espionage on him for this to matter, so I'm going to pull my spies out of there until I'm ready to declare on him and take that city. Or actually, do people have 
Um, I think someone got Kremlin already, so this is a misplay. Well, there's one way to check. And as soon as the game lets me, I'll do it. Let's see here. Kremlin, 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 Kremlin. No, no. Oh, yeah, here it is. Egypt, right. Okay, I think I mentioned that in the last video, or the video before. So, screw it. We're going now. 851 gold a turn. Should be excellent for rush buying. And I think I'm actually going to bother with the rush buy micro. I know, I know, it's novel that I would do that. But, you know, given the slow turn times anyway, and that I'm trying to speed up the win... <laughs> Yeah, I guess this more time spent playing turns is more acceptable and the turn times are so long that reducing the number of turns the game takes is favorable. Not only that, but, you know, trying to compete. Although, honestly, um, now that I'm familiar with the rules and everything, this is a bit of a farce as a competition. Because if you allow Hudson events, you are already breaking competition down into who can play the game more times versus who plays the game better. Now, granted, that probably favors me, technically, because I can play the game more times, because I'm a fast player, rather than necessarily a good one. But it's still terrible for competition. And another strike against this series, in particular, that I have a real problem with, is that how good civs are... Con you, when you complete a victory condition, uh, Matrix will... Um, will weight your victory based on the civilization you use. But he weights the... He weights the sieves based on how people do when they use one sieve and then another sieve. Well, we've already had a case where uh, one player decided to go culture in one game and domination in the other. And so he got like a huge score with one sieve and then just like a mediocre score with the other sieve. And now that's the, uh, the sieve that went for culture is just considered so much worse than the sieve that went for domination. And uh, you'll get, as a result of that behavior from another player, um, now the culture civ, I think it was Egypt and Rome, <laughs> one of those is getting is considered much better than the other one. Or no, it was Egypt and it was Rome and Vikings. One of them is considered much better than the other one on the sole basis that somebody went culture. That's just not a good way to run a competition. I, I don't want this to be a clone of Hall of Fame. Because Hall of Fame has its own problems, but you really can't compare uh, different victory conditions like that. It's just not viable. Because the score score va favors only domination and conquest with uh, like milking of corporations. Heck, if I got a corporation, I might be able to outscore Absolute Zero still. Probably not, but it wouldn't be a better played game. It would just be more milking. But it's crazy what you can do with that. So I don't know what to say. It wasn't the uh, best thought out uh, design, certainly. And, um... Yeah, I don't know that I want to use up my spies on him. I should be fine. And yeah, you notice that I'm rush buying only in cities that have built, uh, have invested some hammers. It functions similar to whipping in that regard. In that uh, you, you get a penalty if you try to rush buy something that has no hammer investment at all. Um, but what I usually do, if I'm in a hurry, is I'll just select all the cities and hit the rush buy button every other turn. So, if they do cycle and produce, like, something on consecutive turns, there's a chance I'll rush buy inefficiently then. Whereas, doing it this way, there's no chance. And this is still a little bit painful, but what can you do? I'm almost ready to clear on Mansa Musa. He still lacks gunpowder and replaceable parts, so... Calf stomp here. Should be able to work nicely on him. Man, Kremlin from Egypt would be beautiful. And how am I doing on power? I should have spiked quite a bit. But, yeah, there's some civs out there that are much stronger than me. Um, let's see, power. In fact, Musa is technically still stronger than me for some reason. Love to know why that is. Whatever. It's not like he can do anything to this many cavalry. So ridiculous. Let's go culture. <laughs> no. You're insignificant crap empire. Although, is he at war with anybody right now? So he's probably plotting on me because I refused him. And he can suck it because he doesn't have rifles and I'm going to destroy him if he declares on me. Where is he? 
Oh, actually, he's pretty advanced. Never mind. Well, that sucks. Um, let's see here. Relations. Close borders, please. Actually, he does, so... Uh, he's gonna have a hard time reaching me before I kill Egypt. And I'd forgotten those two were at war. It's one of the more pointless wars, anyway. Good, the Mongols are holding their own there. <laughs> China being the biggest empire, I really want to keep that under control. But I have to get some power myself first, as I'm pretty uh, low tier in number of cities right now. Certainly ahead of crap like Ahsoka and Surrey and the Mayans. But 27 cities? Well, if I capture all of Egypt and, uh, basically if I take over the continent of Africa, even though it's technically uh, <laughs> all of the same continent, but even if I take over the continent of Africa, I should be number one in cities. And not doing too badly in land either, so... That should be good. That should be good. And yeah. I don't have to worry about Mali picking anything up. Not with no tech trades and researching that kind of crap. But I think we are good. I think we are ready to start killing things. It's been a long time coming, I'll tell you that. Finger slippage goodness. Alright. Oh, is that how it is? Apparently they, uh... Apparently Shock's not gonna work out so well because it flips the Defender. Well, that's fine. We will just attack anyway. There we go. Um, and yeah, I have leftover Defenders. I might as well use them for that. Rather than using my cavalry. That way I can be a little more efficient with where I place my cavalry. Grab the Christian Holy City in like the following turn. And uh... Oh, apparently I had a super medic. Let's bring him along. Lucky for me that I remembered or noticed. And yeah, crossbows kind of obsolete as defenders. But um, they can still capture workers. Ha ha ha. Awesome. Lots and lots of that. Okay, so what do I want in new cities? Well, I don't have state property, so let's do it like this. We will go Hammer Emphasis, Ekondum, Ekondum, what, what am I talking about? Uh, no. We'll go with the religious buildings first, if available. Then a conda, then a courthouse. And forge isn't there yet, but then just, uh. Yeah, that's good. That's a good start. We'll add things as needed. And we'll see how the Malinese respond to this. Oh, geez. Oh, I see. They, uh, recaptured most of their workers that I took from them. Well. Wow. We'll sign peace treaty, Mansa Musa. Yes, that's just like you. Mr. Superculture Whore. Ah, Christianity spread in Moscow. Look at that. Alright, any of you can take promotions? Yeah. So let's clean out some knights here. I don't really want to slow down my offensive too much. Just to stop these retaliatory knights. And hey, there's his stack. Um, what I'm probably going to want to do is hit the stack. And the reason is, I don't want to get collateral or give up my inherent withdraws. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna attack. We'll flank a little bit. Alright, well, we can promote a couple of these guys. We don't want to micro every single one like that. See, I lost battles because I didn't micro every single one. It's very important, you see. Uh, you need to stay with the pack. 
Yeah, that was fast. It's gonna be the fastest thing in the world. But we, we got him pretty good here. Ooh, a great general. We're putting this new Lundy with our heroic epic. And you can just go back. Okay, who can make it to this tile? I want more people who can attack the city on the following turn. Just in case I need the help. Apparently no one, none of you can. And okay, uh, well we've managed to accrue more money, so let's buy some more rounds. And as war weariness stacks up, I'm going to have to run the culture slider to not starve, and that will reduce my production. But, that is uh, not necessarily a long-term problem, because after you kill somebody, the war weariness just goes away like that. One wars are happy wars. Even for people in Civ. I guess that's sort of true in reality, too. I mean, once the war is over and it's been, like, you know, 50 years, the people really aren't as pissed any longer, so... For better or worse, whatever. Oh, Inca's, uh, got a decent size there. Certainly, uh, bit the lion's share chunk of that continent over Maya. Yeah, cavalry are so good. Gotta go for the mounted. Just the way Kathy likes it. <laughs> um, Indian City. I'm going to abstain on that one. Angle? Where the heck is Angle? I don't think you would trade maps with me. No. No, you wouldn't. I don't know where the heck that is. But if it goes back to the Mali, then I'm gonna have to go take it, and it's probably swamped in culture somewhere, so... A not an ideal situation for me. And wow, I am hurting. Let's see here. Crossbows, not the best defenders against cavalry. These guys are damaged, but a lot of them are pretty healthy and can probably help take the city. There we go. Off to a good start already. Okay, here we go. Four, and then control click to add the granary at the top of this queue. And that way, we don't have to worry about it anymore. At least not right away. And we will still focus on production. Um, probably want to leave just a cavalry or two behind so I don't get destroyed on this tile. Don't think it'll take much. I'm probably going to have to stop a moment to heal. Not like stop the war, but um, stop attacking so these guys can take advantage of my GG, 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 G medic. Lots of Gs because it's good games. Good game for Mansa Musa anyway. Or rather, the opposite of a good game. Well, whatever. You are getting your butt kicked. Give me tech. You can't. <laughs> well, that's too bad. You're just going to have to die then. Don't worry, though. You will be remembered. But that's right. I can just rush by everything, including the stuff in new cities. If I get too many units. <laughs> And just buy buildings. So good. <sighs> Come on. Roll the turnover so I can kill stuff. Ah, look. Look, he turned his, his tech back on. He's going to get physics. Ha. It's because I abstained with my 414 votes. I courteously abstained. You guys can't do a thing. Not with me in control of TAP. That's uh, short for Apostolic Palace, in case you guys didn't know. Um, or the Apostolic Palace, actually. Oh, a knight. Chivalry is dead! Of course, Chivalry is not a Civ 4 tech, and oh god, I am getting pillaged. Oh, that was that knight. Man, that was an expensive pillaging job there. I'll tell you what. 
So this turn, this war is probably not going to take too long. Oh, that's where Angle was. Um, that actually works out for me. I can probably kill him off just by taking these cities then. Or at least good enough. This is probably going to take me another 10, 15 turns. And then I have to turn on Egypt, which is number one in score for some reason. I guess all his wonders. Oh my god, he's closing in on rifles. Okay, well, we're going to stop focusing on the Malanese and start focusing on Ramesses. And uh, maybe the rifle war will be a little bit painful. We'll see. He, was, he didn't even have guilds before, and now he has... Um, he got all the way through replaceable parts, like in a couple turns. Screw you too, game. Uh-oh. Where did I lose my warrior? Where did it happen? Better not have been a city. Oh, let me check. Let me check. Yes, people were telling me that it wasn't reasonable to complain about the way the map plays. Oh, jeez. I did lose the city. What the heck? Where did this come from? He must have had that on a boat. That sucks, because I'm going to have to rebuild everything now. I mean, it's not going to be hard to retake it. It's just a nuisance. Yeah, what now? Jerk. Do I have another one somewhere? Now, herb, derb, I'm gonna run by and take your city. Well, actually, that's not a bad play. Although a good multiplayer guy would have raised it, <laughs> knowing he couldn't hold it. But that's—I uh, don't really want my cities raised, so I'm fine with what the AI chose to do as well. I think just one turn of healing here is going to be all I can afford to do, and uh, I'll just continue from there. That's my cavalry. Yeah, there's no way he marched that down. He had to have landed that somewhere. Threw away an elephant. Uh, well, whatever. It's time for some revengeance. Revengeance. Great. Look at all this crap I have to rebuild. Conda. It even took out my... Well, of course it took out my science buildings. Because they produce culture, so that's an instant loss of all my science buildings there. Not that I'm really relying on those any longer, but still. <coughs> Barbarian is captured by the Aztec. Oh no. That's uh that's a surprise. Aztecs are doing something. And it involves fighting. Okay, um let's just Alright. A lot of units in there. Oh, a lot of catapults. Um even so. Can I get away with the splat stack splitting? One, two, three, four. Um, maybe if I send like six cavalry down here. We'll make it seven to be safe. Don't wanna fail. It's not too much. I know you guys like seeing fail on occasion, but even so. I do not like the fail. At least not my own. Besides, I've already had enough of it this game. I mean, you got some fail right here. And then some. Fine. Inefficient. But awesome. Of course, it destroyed some of the happiness buildings, too. And oh god, they're just destroying my stuff now. And why don't I have the resource icons on? I like the resource icons. They had so much noise. I like noisy screens. Okay, Montezuma won't trade with me. Oh, I won't trade with you either, Monty. Up, oh, up. Oh, he's trying to reinforce it. Actually, that could cause me problems. Oh, 
don't know. Looks like I'll be fine. Got another little stack here. So anyway, yeah, my plan with this is to finish it, but not to bring it on a daily basis like I do most of my other LPs, just because it gets slow and a little bit tiresome to play a turn, so we'll see. Oh wow, no losses, that is amazing. Of course, I still can't take the city, but you know, I don't know, maybe I can, I can just barely get in there. I lose it back on the next turn. I'm not moving my Grey General in there. He's not a viable defender. Ugh. And make one little mistake and then you get prompted pop ups. Um, hmm. What would I want to add? A forge in this equation. At the end, I don't care. These city is going to take forever before they're useful. We're pretty much just trying to sweep with cavalry from my homeland. Which is why losing this city was not a good thing for me. Why are you pissy? Don't be pissy. Like, seriously. War. What is it good for? Um... show you what war is good for. Let's trade some resources. Oh, nope. Nope. Nobody has anything that I can trade for that'll actually be useful to me. But let's kill it all anyway. I'll take the resources I need then. No, I didn't attack Timbuktu. How about that? You are a waste, Mansa Musa. Giving up your chances of even doing decently in the war. Be like Idra from StarCraft 2 and call him a waste of life. Although Idra got banned from the Team Liquid forums for doing that. Um, the reason he called uh, the other player that was because the other player basically cheated. He uh, pulled up Idra's stream and watched him from his perspective. So, <laughs> in a ladder game. Yeah, cheating is not cool. <laughs> so I'm, I'm with Idra on that one. I know he gets a little ragey sometimes, and people don't like it because uh, you know he seems whiny on occasion. But when uh, when you're calling out somebody for cheating, and the person actually cheated, well, that person probably deserves whatever you say about him. I'm just saying that is one thing I don't understand in gaming is why people would cheat. And of course, there's always that it's only cheating if you get caught. Rule well. That is how life works, but he got caught, so... <laughs> Maybe not the best. And oh my god, I lost all my gold buildings, too. That is not enjoyable. Maybe I'll build some coliseums. My people are less pissy. <laughs> I don't need tech. Tech is overrated. I've only been teching all game. Now I'll just kill things with the tech I do have. Makes me nervous. Even as war goes pretty quickly, that makes me nervous. One, two, three. Uh, I can't make it there. If there were not a hill on this tile, I could make it there, but I can't get within striking distance of that city on the following turn, unfortunately. Um, well, let's uh, just hit you and then back off because that hurt me. Stupid newbithans. Even now, they plague my existence. You're probably good if I reinforce with these guys. So we'll just wait a turn. Um, yeah, I'll take a medic promotion. Because I don't have my super general here. Ha! Settle them all in Ulundi. No thinking required. Did I have any leftovers that didn't have a... Yeah, here you go. Should heal things a little faster. I'm so skillful. And yeah, now we just buy some more cavalry. Always buying the cavalry. I 
Yeah, rifles are just bad news. I could probably overpower them with numbers, especially if he's at war right now. But I'd really rather not. This city's kind of junky. Might just burn it rather than letting it be uh, flipping fodder. Or uh, having to defend it when the Egyptians attack. When I, well, when I declare on them. Anyway, I did a good job founding Christianity here. I'm a good person of the faith. Um... Let's play a little risky. No, I could actually just reinforce, so it's not that bad. I'll throw an extra cavalry in there. Alright. Um... You... Let me select my units, please, and then we will work from there. Oh, he's got a decent number of units there. And I can't hit them, they are out of range. I'm going to have to sit here an extra turn, just try and get some healing then. It's like, there's no point in approaching that stack if I can't reach it to attack it, so... One more turn, and then we have another wave to hit him. To hit him with, and sentence in preposition. I heard that's pro. Yeah, look at this, look at this. It's ludicrous. You have to pay for your Confucian Holy City nonsense. He's still friendly with me. He won't be. I'm, I'm taking out my friends right now. I don't need friends. My own friend. Where did this happen? Okay, so he just attacked me in Timbuktu. Well, it's better than uh, just letting me attack him after moving into range, so... I suppose I can't criticize him too much. Gotcha! Yes. Onaged. And now I just have to wait a turn. Ah, yes. Yes, it feels so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Surprise! Oh, this sound is awesome. Unless it's one of your cities. It kind of sucks. <laughs> but, uh, that's not one of my cities, so I don't mind. It's one bit. Um, can I get into striking distance of two cities on the following turn? I can do that. I can do that. This will help me out. And actually, I'll sit here rather than there, because I can use the roads if I can take a city. Okay, well. I wonder, I wonder, how close can I get? It's not very close. It's not very effective. Alright. Buy more cavalry. Kill it all. Kill every enemy. And yeah, Mansa Musa's power probably not so intimidating now. And I'm not last by virtue of taking out other people's power rather than growing my own. And I'm probably going to have to tech up to tanks or something because this just doesn't. Well, I could skip Egypt and just kill other people first and come back for him. It's true I could do that. And maybe I should. If I can't, well, it depends. If he still doesn't have it, when I kill Mansa Musa, I'm just going to attack him. If he gets magic rifles, I'll deal with it with numbers. But if he does get rifles, before I take out uh, the Malanese, well, uh, it looks like I have a bunch of alternative viable targets. Pretty much everyone other than Ragnar will be complete fodder as well. You know, run like halfway across the world and attack China or something, although they seem to have rifles as well. Well, there's Kathy. And I could fight Kathy in Egyptian lands. It would go excellent, I am sure. Yay! One at a time. 
One at a time raises your chances to win the battle. Not really. Don't like hear me say that and think I mean it. Oh, come on. There we go. I knew you guys can take it. Where are my cavalry in transit? You guys cannot reach there, can you? No. No, you cannot. That's something you will not be accomplishing. Um... Yeah, why not? Emancipation? It's a good thing I have that. That's such a good civic. People like it in multiplayer, in your competitive multiplayer games, when you switch into Emancipation. Just ask uh, Dan Q. He, he really appreciates that each and every time I do it. Although, honestly, because we the, the settings we use... Cottages really are highly incentivized, and as a result of that, it, Emancipation actually becomes a good civic, especially after Mass Conquest. So, it's hard to it's hard to hate on them too much, I guess. But alright, that's just, uh... Good enough. Man, I really want Kremlin, though. There's only one place to go to get it. Must have abusive wonders. All right. Well, we're almost done with the Malinese. Should have just emptied people. Liberalism. Are you still liberalism? It's almost definitely Manny Musa too. Oh no, he was long past lib. Who stole that from me? You're weird. Tech, you want to get first. I'm going to take you steal. Unless you really want communism. In which case, I feel for you. Because communism is not a well working economic model. Um, maybe I should take it one step at a time so I don't get my pathing auto rerouted. It's never fun when that happens. Oh, actually, in game, the communism is an excellent working model, though. Don't get me wrong. It's one of the best in, this, in the game, yeah. Like, actually, I would say odds are, on a given game, that communism is better than corporations. Normally. There are things that can make an, an exception. But for the most part, communism is superior. Certainly when you're milking the score, though, I would want Sid Sushi. If I get a merchant, I might really go there. And just milk, 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 milk. Um, you can get domination in the old world. Someone confirmed that for me. Well, MLS did. And, well, obviously the Absolute Zero game showed that as well. So I just basically have to keep taking cities until I win. It's just a question of how quickly I can do it. No, I'm going to go culture. Yeah, I should do that. I should go culture and win really late on purpose just to make it seem like the zoo is a really hard save to play and ruin the uh, the rankings completely. Because <laughs> that approach might work if you had enough people submitting games for it to even out, but there's no way that's going to happen. It would take hundreds of games, especially because of all the noise generated from people trying different vi uh, victory conditions. Apparently the Aztec got their hands on this temporarily. <laughs> Just craziness. Go kill him. Kill this backward nonsense. We are almost done with Malinese. Although that's not really shocking news. <laughs> <sighs> Get in there. Protect your city. Um, I should be able to take that stuff if I push a little. Take it sooner. Um, doesn't really matter. All right. And now I don't really need guys defending the back lines any longer. 
It's already been damaged by uh, them taking my city by surprise, amphibiously. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't stand by your, by your lonesome out there. You are an explorer. Not a hero. You are a hero of sorts. You are my hero medic. The wind beneath my wings. The mash team. Things like that. <laughs> 19 top city. So a few of Mansa Musa's cities are actually that great. Although, I'm pretty sure he's got a shrine, so... Whatever. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he went free religion. <laughs> Maybe he was the one that stole Lib. I didn't check, but um, let's see. Yeah, decent amount of wonders here. Taj Mahal, Temple of Artemis. A lot of the stuff's obsoleted already. Technically not, because I'm not. I don't have certain tax. Ah, yes. This city wants market grocer bank a lot. Um, wow. We're gonna make a special move here. We're gonna make a special effort. Get Wall Street like now. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's got the other gold multiplier, so when that comes out of revolt, it's going to be a big lift. More cavalry. I think I'm trading for die, so the theater should give happiness. If not, well, it'll give happiness when I run the slider. Alright. Um, I really only need like random defenders now. I don't need anything too strong. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, you're closing on infantry too. As Oh no, he has rifles. What am I talking about? Well, Oh no, this is me. This is me. So, um, yeah, I can't trade him rifling because tank trading is off. Whew! Used to looking at trade screens with it on. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> so I might be able to pull something out of my backside. It just depends. I'm going to need to heal my cavalry and hit him very quickly on many sides. Hard and fast. Just the way... Egypt and Cathy like is it. It's almost sad that I have to cancel that crab steal. Just having a field day with that one. Man, this should have been his capital. This is one of his better cities. I think it is better than his capital, even though his capital is buffed a bit. Yeah, I mean, Timbuktu is better, but you're not going to mistake this for a fast opening with Plains Cow and Floodplains. At least you have multiple floods planes, so floods planes, whatever. At least you have multiple ones, so it's not horrible. But it's, it's not good either. Um, can I take this on the following turn? I hope so because I'm not gonna be able to take it with. I'm not gonna be able to reinforce. So it's uh, let's just get cavalry in position for dealing with our next target. And amassing troops there. I'm probably gonna want a set of them. Hmm. I guess there's fine. You guys can keep on keeping on defending. The Malinese have three cities. Where's his third? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just have him give me heaps of gold or something. And I can always declare on him later. And yeah, Egypt's got that niceness out there too. Do I want to build boats just to take that? I mean, I could rush by some stuff. Get some cavalry on some galleon action there. It's a nice thing about rush buying. It really doesn't take long to set it up. Although I should have banks. Banks make it much more efficient. Most of my cities do. I will fall behind in tech doing this. Um, well, once you get enough cities, though, you can catch right up. 
again. I don't I don't think I've explored to find that last city of his because my espionage would have given me sight of it if I knew. And it would be pretty obvious on the mini map. But like if it's not my empire, the only other stuff I see is his. And oh geez. Well, if you insist, it'll buy me some guaranteed time. <laughs> <laughs> that is not originally an Egyptian city. I have stain. I am not sure I want to do that. I'm never sure I want to do that. Other than vote it down. Oh, you jerk. He galleoned in some reinforcements. How dare you. Can you make it? Yeah. How useful L cavalry is going to be. Actually, these guys can probably make it too um, by using Egyptian roads. China's still going to town over there. Downtown Chinatown. Heal up. Not sure I want to hit that this turn. I have to wait for reinforcements. Or, can I get some help here? I'm probably going to need an attack strike force from that part of the world anyway, so... Uh, it's going to take a while. But, you can do it. Buy more cavalry. Uh, at least these religions is going to help me get border pops where I would otherwise not have them. Ooh, skirmishers. Those are really good back in the BCs. Why is he building that? Oh, because he doesn't have iron, so he, he can build them in lieu of crossbows. That's interesting. That doesn't mean he should. Yeah, I could pretty much block any AP resolution at this point. Wow, my screen was like forcing going up there for a minute. That was weird. Just fortify. Fortify. Aw, oh, man. I'm calling Parahax shenanigans here. Stupid Parahax. Three in a row. What? <laughs> uh, I've had that happen. I've lost because that happened. Luck screws are not cool. Oh, I guess he did get angled back somehow. It seems like he's got more culture up here than he should have. Whatever, someone else can finish him off. I wonder if I can bribe Egypt into a war. He is friendly towards me. And I might be able to pull something off with that. Nope. I'm not joining any wars. But I do have a lot of gold. And maybe I can send him out fishing. He's willing. He's willing. It'll be a good backstab. I'm going to stop buying cavalry. Because it'll be a lot easier to deal with him if he just sends his stack somewhere. He's not in war right now. I don't think. No. But he could be. Who would be the cheapest people to have him bribed against? Um, Ahsoka, Kapak, and Ragnar. Oh my, well. He won't declare on them though. What? Well, I don't see why he thinks he would have something to gain by declaring in Genghis Khan or uh, Pakal, but not Ragnar. I don't get that one. <laughs> that's uh, That's questionable logic. So that's who he's plotting on. I didn't have to worry at all. Well, I did, but now I don't any longer. Alrighty then. And hopefully Egypt doesn't enter into long war plans where I can't bribe him, but he'll get rifles before he actually goes to war. Because that would suck. That's something I look to avoid. All right. Now pretty much I just want one defender per city. Um, where are you, Mali? 
give me whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of the world's map for that, <laughs> come to think of it. Nice, I can finally see everything. Now where the heck is his city? Is it like down here somewhere? Oh, I'm never killing Egypt, at least not easily. Nah, yeah. Ragnar has angle. Um. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. They pretty much the second anyone declares on him, he's toast. <laughs> Too funny. All right, go heal. Heal those guys up. I like how Rome is completely dead. And so is Native America, but they don't show up because I don't never met them. <laughs> it's uh, it's an interesting thing with the bug mod there. You'd think they would show that once I met the Civ who killed them, but I guess it's not that bi big a deal. We can uh, figure it out. Plus, there's no way the Aztec killed him. It had to have been a bar of uprising. It just had to have been. Yeah, he only had the two cities. Everything else is Aztec. There's the AI doesn't do warrior rushes, viewers. It doesn't. It was an uprising. It was the Barb Archer uprising. Uh, there's no doubt. We'll see in the end, though. When I prove myself right, ha <laughs> ha. I suppose technically another uprising would be possible. But yeah, events start being possible around turn 20, or I think it is turn 20. So, if you have the prerequisites, then you can have the Barb Archer Uprising on turn 20, which is before you can possibly defend yourself in uh, Civ 4. Because no matter what you build, even if you build warriors on a huge map, you get hit by six archers. You will have built one or two warriors. You will die to six archers. I, I, I remember a game I had where I was building only warriors to start because I wanted a warrior rush and AI. And I still died to that event. It was really bad. I mean, that was kind of unlucky too, but seriously, that's just horrible. But okay, we haven't quite killed the Malanese. I like how they're trying to get military tradition. But we've taken that part of Africa over completely. And this video has gone on for a little bit of time now, so I'm going to stop it off here. And I will see you in the next part when we do something about Egypt. And he's at war with Montezuma again, which sucks. But, alright. Until then, thumbs up if you liked the video, and I will be signing off. Until then.